Hello coin collectors and welcome to another joint video between the Big D coin channel and DC coin world coin channel and this what we have here is a 1965 Franklin dime uh, Liberty in front of his face here in God we trust down here 1965 here and then right before the 1965 it looks like there's an S there and there is and there's also a J there this is not the mint mark uh, there's no mint mark on a 1965 United States dime. In fact, there's no mint mark on any United States coins from 1965 to 1967. So this is a J and an S, and that's for John Sinek, the designer of the Franklin um, dime. And this uh, dime, when you see it listed, it says 1965 uh, through the present, essentially. Um, but that's simply, it was... They actually started making them in 1946, but they were silver back then. They were 90% silver from 1946 until 1964, and 1965 is the first year of the non-silver dimes. This is a copper nickel clad copper. How can we tell? We just tip it up. We can see that copper inside, and we see the copper nickel outside cover on each side. If we tip it over, we see the torch. And it says United States of America around the top, one dime underneath. These are not stars. These are dots when you get to the dime. There's an olive branch here. There's an oak uh, branch here. And there's an acorn on there. I think that might be an olive, too. And um, that might be, too. But I am not positive. Uh, when you look at these coins, what you're looking for is these bands that go across the back. And to see if you have a full band version, there's actually a separation between uh, this band right down the middle and on this one too and then when you see this in a really good condition that kind of cups up it almost swings up on the side we'll show you a proof version in a second of uh, not uh, uh, from the 1970s so you can kind of see how that looks so 1965 no mint marks so you're not going to find a P you're not going to find a D you're not going to find an S in 1965 um, in 1966, same thing. Let's take a look at the 1966. Here's a 1966. Um, some some people they call these the uh, fishing coins sometimes. Um, these are not fishing coins, but uh, some people note that the G often gets a little worn on there. And it looks like it says, in cod we trust um, for cod fish. People think that's kind of funny. Um, I've only heard it about a million times. And it's it's actually a G there. It's not a cod, and it's nothing to do with fishing. So there's a 66. There's a 67. Again, we have no mint marks on any of them. Now, people say, well, I know there was a 1966 that had silver in it, uh, the 40% silvers. And when they say that, what they're talking about is the half dollars. So in 1964, the Kennedy half dollar was 90% silver. In 1965, 1966, and 1967, 68, 69, and 70. So 65 to 70, um, they made a 40% silver version of this coin. This is a big, heavy coin. Let's look at it compared to the time. Okay, so when they went to the Kennedy half um, after his death, um, they uh, they made one year, which was the um, the 1964, and then they switched to a from a 90% to a 40%. So 40% of something this big, if it's silver, is still worth three dollars and 33 cents just in silver value alone. So don't be selling this half for under four dollars, really, because the silver value is three almost three and a half dollars. So that's where your silver was in these coins. Plus your silver was also in the Eisenhower dollars. Um, um, uh, the Franklin dollars and then the Eisenhower dollars, uh, but that ended also. So even today, there's no silver in a half dollar either. Now, I said 65, 66, and 67, um, they had um, no mint marks. So what did they do when they came back? Well, here's some um, 1968s, and you can see that 68 had a D on it for Denver. And guess what? No mint mark still in 68 on the Philly. So if you have a Philadelphia coin from 1968, it's not going to have a mint mark. Um, and if you have the Denver coin, of course, 
there is a D for Denver. So um, there is a really special 1968 um, a no mint mark coin, and that's going to be a proof coin. And a proof coin will look something like this. Um, you see it's a different kind of burnish there. It'll have, uh, on the special 1968, there's no S here. This is 1968, but it's a burnished coin. And so that's a no mint mark. That's worth um, big bucks, uh, 7,500 bucks, if you find one that looks this good in 1968. But we're not talking about the 68s. We're still talking about the 1965. So let's get back to it. I wanted to talk to you about the, the two bands on here. So see, when we look at this coin, and this one, because of proof, it's inside the... You see there's two different bands there, two different bands, and there's some separation. This is not the best version. It is a full band version, but it's because it's a proof coin, it's not in such great shape. Um, and then you can see here where it kind of... There's some little dots down here as it kind of hits into the... And then this kind of beads up on the sides a little bit. Again, there's a dot there. It's funny, for a proof coin, this is not in great shape. Even though you're looking through the plastic, uh, you can tell sometimes just uh, that these proof coins, some of them aren't as good as others. Now, so uh, they did have an S mint mark, but they did not have one in 65, 66, and 67. They didn't have any silver on them in 65, 66, and 67, but they still, of course, had... Roosevelt on them looking to the left. How many did they make? Well in 1965 they made 1.65 billion. So 1.65 billion of these, they are all over the place. How many did they make in 1966? Well where is that 66 anyway? Ah here it is. In 1966 they made 1.38 billion, essentially 1.4 billion. And in 1967 how many did they make? 2.24 billion, two and a quarter billion. So between these coins, um, they made about five billion coins on these three years, all with no mint marks. So if you're looking to make a uh, some money on these, you're not gonna. Even in mint state 65, these are worth uh, seven to eight dollars. Unless you get mint state 68 or above, you're not gonna make a whole lot of money on these coins, even though they made over 5 billion of them. Um, there are not that many when you get to mid state 67, 68 and above. Um, and so those are the ones you, you want to uh, find the value for. And it would look something like this actually without the burnishing. It would just be a really fine coin before you get up to mint state 68. Or maybe you might find an error coin and some of these have a little offset error to them. Some of them um, have other errors. Uh, and those might be worth some money too. But in general, if you're looking for a 1965 dime and looking at a 1965, there is no silver and no cod written on there. And there's no real value to a 1965 dime that's a circulated dime unless it's an error coin. All right. Thanks for watching the Big D DC coin joint video. And we'd love to have you subscribe to both of our channels. And we'll put this video up on both of our channels. Have a great day. And um, hopefully we'll see you back in some of our other videos.